Hello everyone, this is Sandra at The Whispering Well, and yes, my hair is straight, temporarily. <laughs> it won't be like it for long. <laughs> I'm not over keen, but anyway. So this video is going to be a bit of a sort of fun mini haul video. So on Tuesday this week, um, I met up in London with the lovely Kelly Bear. Um, it was so nice to meet up with her again. Um, we met up last year. Um, in October so that was and it was brilliant to see her and it was lovely again to be able to catch up and we went to this really nice vegan cafe that Kelly knew and the food in there was just like amazing it was lovely um, and so nice to catch up with with Kelly and see her again and everything and I got to meet Dr Nomi oh that dog is the cutest she's so lovely um and we were sat on like a sofa um there and Nomi was sat up in between us and she's oh she's just so lovely <laughs> just wanted to sit there giving her cuddles which she doesn't mind <laughs> so um yeah and Kelly said look she's sitting with you not me she was pressed up against my leg so cute but anyway, so that was lovely to meet up with Kelly. Um, we didn't really go to any shops because obviously we had Nomi with us, which was totally fine because I wanted to meet Nomi. So I was really glad um, that Kelly brought her. But on the way back to the train station, well, the second station, because I had to get to two different stations. Um, and on the way back to the second one, um, there was a flying tiger store. Now where I live we don't have that shop so um, I thought okay I've got time let's have a look and of course you can't just go in there and look oh no <laughs> so and it's it's um you can get things um, at quite reasonable price in there it's kind of um, cheaper than a lot of the other places so kind of discounted prices I suppose um, and of course they'd got all like the Easter things and that in there and I thought you know what I could get something because I wanted something for like an Ostara altar area so I picked up a couple of things so so firstly I picked this up and I mean, look just the cuteness and you probably not might not be able to see very good oh I don't know if I lift it up like that and it's just all these little fluffy chicks. You've got a bigger one and some small ones and one hatching out of an egg and some flowers and grass. And I just thought that would be really nice. I could put it like on my altar space. So I picked that up and you know, it was, I think it was about three pounds or something. It's not very much. And I also picked up this. I mean, look at the cuteness. <laughs> the cute face, I just couldn't. I thought, oh, just look at that. With his carrot. And there's some plants and things in there. And it's it's done in a really kind of rustic way. This with bits of twig and that sticking out, which I really like. So, yeah, that's what that looks like. And again, I think that was about three pounds. So I thought they'd be really nice for, for an Ostara altar, those two things. Because I haven't got a huge area, so I, couldn't, I can't put loads on there. But also while I was in there, um, I saw these and I got two of them. They're candle holders, which I thought were nice. I liked the sort of flower design of them. And they're in like a kind of peach colour so I got two of these and I think these might have been about two pounds or something each so I thought you know they were nice so I got those I want to get some other candle holders as well because I saw on Dan's channel Epine Duvale um, when he was showing his altar um, set up he had these really nice um, candle holders with a pentagram 
on it and I thought they were really nice so I'm hoping to get something like that as well for different different times so I can change my altar area around which I often do anyway just change it up usually for the different um, festivals and stuff so that was that I then got um, this bowl and this is like um I think it's a coconut shell and it's like that inside and I thought it was nice and I liked that it's an irregular shape it's not completely straight obviously um, and I thought well it'd be useful to put things in I could even put some of my smaller crystals and tumble stones and things like that in it perhaps so and it's like glazed or whatever on the inside so so yeah so I thought that was nice I like things like this that are like natural so I don't remember how much that was again not expensive anyway um, and then I saw this now it's been it was it said it was a coaster like placemat or whatever but I liked it because of the colors I mean just look I liked all the different colors in it and I thought that could sit in the on my altar maybe in the middle or something and could even put crystals on it or or something as like a centerpiece thing I don't I'm not quite sure yet but I just saw it and really liked it because of the colours. Um, so, yeah, so I picked that up as well. So those were the things that I got in Flying Tiger. So my going in there just to have a look around turned out to not just be a look around. Um, also, when I was with Kelly, she actually gifted me her um, modern spell casters tarot because she um, didn't want it anymore, and that that was so lovely of her. And I was like, "Oh my God, are you sure?" And she's like, "Yes, yes." And yeah, I'm really pleased to have that because I was going to buy it anyway. Um, but yeah, so, you know, Kelly really kindly gifted me it. So I haven't, like, worked with it or anything yet. I've looked through the cards and I love them. So we'll we'll see how that goes. But I was really happy to, to get that. So thank you very much, Kelly. Uh, I'm really grateful for it. It's just brilliant of you to gift it to me. And then the other couple of things I just have are from a shop that you've heard me mention before, The Works which is like a discounted like bookshop and you can get stationary items in there and craft things sometimes they do tarot decks and stuff in there so the first book i got was um the green witch which i thought would be really good your complete guide to the natural magic of herbs flowers essential oils and more and i'd seen this um book before I think in it was either I think it might have been on somebody's channel and they didn't have it in the works where where I where I am but I found it in a different one so I was really happy to pick that up and I also got um, this one which is which is the history of a persecution so I really like reading sort of the history <clears throat> uh, things like that and I read quite a lot of books anyway and do you know what I love is all these like woodcut drawings as well and like you've got a couple of them on the back too and these books were three pounds each so not expensive so yeah uh, it was it was really good at the moment I'm reading and I've almost finished it as you can see from the bookmark I'm reading A Discovery of Witches um, and I'm almost to the end of that, it's quite a thick book um, but I read fairly quickly so it's not too bad and I know there's another couple of books in the series so I'll be wanting to get those once I've finished that one so yeah, so that was that was it for my um, 
little haul. I hope you liked seeing them and if any of you are in the UK and you have a flying tiger store near you, it's, it's worth um, having a look because they have lots of things in there as well. They have stationery items, they do candles, um, all sorts of things in there. So it's, it's always worth like popping in and having a look because you never know what you might find in there. So, so yeah, so just a short video today just to show you these um, few things. I hope you enjoyed seeing them and I'm sure I'll talk to you all soon. Bye.